little recap of what I've been experimenting with is I have a hundred yards of 20 gauge wire stretched out here on the one side of these little poles and 32 gauge wire on the other side. I've been collecting stray electricity off this high voltage power line and I'm off the easement and lately I've been trying other types of conductors and electrolytes I was getting some surprising results with the electrolyte. I got jars filled up with vinegar and they were conducting more electricity than just plain wire. And I have something set up here now. I got to sit on top of this styrofoam trying to keep everything insulated as best I can because any little movement and touch of anything will change the output. So this is just a bare wire I got stuck in this styrofoam and we're getting maybe 90 volts I guess. Now when I take the wire and stick it in this jar of vinegar here, we'll get some more power out of it. And it jumped up. Then I started experimenting with some other stuff too to see how everything else will compare. I'll go over some of that right now too. Also note that the voltage changes just by me moving further away from the experiment. My body is uh, conducting charge away too. If I get further away, you can see that it jumped up to 152. I'm about maybe four feet away now. The further away I get, I'll go back up. And it raised up some more. But I'll go on to another collector now. And I got a little piece of 5 inch gutter set up here. This is aluminum gutter. And the voltage we're getting off of this one. 260 volts. Well, the wind took it away. It's getting around 260 volts or something like that. And now I have a beach ball that I covered in aluminum foil to see what that would do. I'll lift this up to the height of the wire so it's good comparison. And we'll see what kind of voltage we're getting out of this. And I'll hold it right here. It should be insulated pretty decently. And check the voltage. It's about the height. We get over closer to the wire. Oh. That's on one. See, that's getting closer to the trees. Closer to the trees, I'm only getting. Maybe 173 volts, but let me move it to the other side of the ladder now. Two hundred and fifty-five. And that's about the height of the wire. So that's kind of interesting. The closer I get to these trees over here, the voltage drops down. I just can't see that. This next setup that I'm going to show you, I kind of came upon by accident. I was looking for a platform to set on top of the ladder that would hold the jars of electrolyte a little more stable. And I had some unusual readings. So I had an idea when I came up with is that I soaked this board in vinegar. I just used a paintbrush and painted it on, soaked it in, and it's all dried now. And I put a couple roofing nails in for some contact points and strung some 24 gauge bare copper wire across here and attached that to the leads on the voltmeter. And that's what we're going to take a look at right now. I made a couple of these. I'll get this one out of the way. Set this one up here. And we'll take a look at the readings now. 174 volts. Let me back away a little bit more. It goes up. The further I get away, the more it goes up. 
I'm about three, four feet away now. And that's just that board with a little bit of wire. Hold this off to the side a little bit. And we're getting that quite a bit of voltage off of there. That's just that board. I thought that's I, I didn't know what to think. That's pretty incredible. Is you know if this is dry, I imagine the resistance is quite a bit, and it's just this little bit of conductor. Now in this situation, I have two of those boards made up, connected together, and I'm trying to keep it about the height of the wire, so you can always have something compared to. I'm gonna take a look at the reading at that now. 290 some volts back away a little bit see if I can get it up to 300 by backing away there there's 300 volts I just backed away from it if I start moving closer to it it drops down but that's just those two boards it's just a tiny bit of conductor well this wire is, is probably doing something too but I thought that's pretty incredible, just with boards. And of course, I wanted to try a longer board. So I got myself, a, this is about a five foot, one by six cedar board. And I staggered some roofing nails across there. And I connected them up with that same bare copper wire, 24 gauge. You got it connected here. And now we'll take a look at the voltage we're getting now off of this. 370 some volts. Let me back up a little bit and see if that does anything. Three hundred and eighty six volts. <laughs> That's just a piece of wood. You know, it's just minimal amount of conductor material in there. It's just it's kind of incredible. It's just amazing that this is picking up that electric and this like I oh I forgot to say this is soaked with a vinegar again I painted vinegar on there but it's dry now it's dry underneath too and then I'm also I'm gonna tip that board over too just a, so hold on a second So now I got the board upside down with a conductor, that little strand of conductor underneath that wire. And it's getting kind of windy out here. I'll see what kind of. And the voltage is still up there. Actually, right now it's a little higher than what it was before. Amazing. Let me back up. I guess the wind is changing. I'm backing up a little bit. The wind changes the voltages too for some reason. I think it has something to do with the ions in the air. That's what I'm starting to think. It has to do with the positive ions in the air. But that is, that is uh, incredible. And I should also check the current on that too. Let me get that set. Now I'm going to switch over to the amp meter, see what that's going to put out. The voltage is still right around 370. So I'm going to disconnect voltmeter here and attach the. Need two hands to do this. And we are getting. Can see that glare is always so bad here. Twenty one point one. The other meter timed out. Twenty one point one microamps. Let me back up and see if that changes anything. Came up a little bit. I'm doing this so I can compare 
with a bigger conductor, a straight solid conductor. And now I'm going to take this board down. I got a piece of uh, gutter material stick up here and see what happens with that so I have something to compare to. So here I got a scrap piece of some gutter material. I think it was from a downspout. It's aluminum. It might be a little bit longer than that board, but I probably would have like maybe the same surface area if I bent this out. You know, it looks like have about the same surface area. It's that thick. And I'll set this on top of that styrofoam too so I get a good comparison. Okay, I'm going to need two hands to do this. So now I got the scrap piece of aluminum on top of the styrofoam like I had the board. And we'll take a look and see what kind of reading we're getting off of that. <clears throat> this is the voltage. 319, let me back up again. It raises up. 326. Yeah, that's about it. And now I'll check the current. Just find the right lead. Disconnect that. I'm going to need two hands. Be back in a second here. And if this will focus, 18.4 microamps. And there's a little plane flying overhead. That's the noise you hear. So the board was getting better than this piece of scrap. Uh, aluminum and this is good solid conductor you know it's not a lot of surface area and that board is getting better let me back away I guess let me move turn that off I think the battery's going dead on that one meter that's why it's times out you set that one there this is microamps. Let me back away and see what it rises. It is rising up. So that's what I'm getting with that uh, other aluminum conductor compared to that uh, board. I laid that board down so I could try to get an ohm reading to see what the resistance is in there with that vinegar electrolyte dried in there and these are just the probes stuck in the dirt and you can move these around but <clears throat> when I stick them to this wood I can't even get a reading at all you know the it's in working condition but I cannot get any kind of reading like complete open circuit even trying this other meter here too they think you could get some kind of stick in the ground you know the meters are working but I cannot get any kind of reading across this wood Unless I touch the probes together. So that is really unusual. I thought they'd get some kind of resistance reading. But I'm just not getting nothing. I even stick them in there pretty good. and Nothing. That is unusual. But yet I'm still getting current off of it. Hmm. That's a puzzle. Well, it was really amazing to me that I was getting that much uh, energy off of just a plain board with a little wire strung along it. And it's in more than a solid piece of metal, probably about the same size. Uh, yeah, I just don't understand it. I don't know if it has more surface area because the pores in the wood. But then I couldn't even get a resistance reading across the wood. So I don't know exactly what's going on there. <laughs> but it's something to think about.
And another thing I think I might try, I think I'm going to try moving my operation further out into the open and get away from these little trees here. These trees seem to be drawing the charge away from what I'm doing. And I'm going to move a little further out into the opening. And I'm going to keep experimenting, so I'll check in again when I have something new to report. Thanks for watching.